In the centre of London, Rico Common Towers enhance safety in building speed at urban construction pits. The biggest challenges for construction works in urban areas is the available space, crane availability and cladding speed. The Common Tower provides a solution to all of these. On this building now we've got five machines which will take up 15 metres worth of area on one side of a building. So that 15 metres, that will be 15 metres worth of cladding panels that cannot be fitted. So with the Common Tower, we're bringing five machines into a three metre opening. Using a Rico Common Tower means your hoists will take up less cladding area. A maximum of six hoists can be attached to a single temporary structure. So there's one central tower that covers the vertical transportation of both people and materials. The key benefit mainly is the actual streamline of the system. We do a tie system that can allow for the ties to be installed, the cladding to be removed and back in again, and we can actually open all the flats up and complete the flats and make them dry and watertight. This means that it takes less time to hand over floors to the client, and renting out can start while works are still in progress on the upper floors. The common tower is placed on the side of the building so that it only occupies five meters of space. Unlike traditional hoists, the common tower allows access to the cladding area. Once a floor is ready for fit out, the ties are temporarily removed on just that level to allow for the paneling to be installed. After the installation of the cladding panels, the ties are put back in. When the common tower has been taken down, only the small 20 by 60 centimetre ceiling panels remain to be fitted. The common tower allows you to have a smaller scar in the building, so that's a gap in the cladding, which means less apartments not fitted out. So by having the common tower and having two hoists, we were able to only have one hoist apartment rather than two hoist apartments, which means our fit out program for when we take the hoist down is significantly less than what it would have been if it was a traditional one. Users are definitely happy with this benefit, but there are additional advantages to using a common tower. The profile of the building changed, so we needed to get the hoist running in a straight line so we didn't have any changeovers, and then we used the common tower to, whenever the profile changed, step in and bridge in from the hoist into the actual building. Uh, the second reason was for the orientation of the hoist in one of the pit lanes. The pit lane wasn't wide enough to have a hoist in a sort of a traditional orientation, like straight in. So we brought them onto their sides and then put the common tower in so it meant we took up less space, get vehicles in and still have two hoists. And the most key reason for us was program. And this, of course, is the speedy cladding process. But it also refers to the system's capacity. The hoist can lift up to 4.5 tonnes and they are constructed in units that can reach up to 240 metres high. Cages come in various dimensions, from 11 to 45 cubic metres. This means that large prefab units, such as entire bathroom pods, can be lifted. With the machines on this plot, we've got the pods, bathroom pods can actually come in on the hoist itself. So the machine can serve lower floors, where the crane, when it gets winded off at heights like this, there's no use. So the idea is the production, it speeds up for the client and the handover of the building to the actual end user. Rico Common Tower. Safer building, lower costs. Read more on ricohoist.co.uk.